Welcome back to Samstra Games, the place to shh. Be quiet, be quiet. Could you stop interrupting me? I'm trying to make a video here. No, be quiet, they're coming. Who, who is coming? The Illuminati. <laughs> Today we're gonna play Puppet Master, the Shadow Government Simulator. Now this is a demo. It was available to play during the Steam Game Festival. So now let's begin, which was a long time ago. This is a long time coming video. So let's start a brand new game. I'm gonna play it without, without the tutorial because I can walk you through it. So the first thing we, we can do is we can pick our faction. We're gonna be playing with the Illuminati because the, that's the only faction available in this demo. And then we can pick a region. We can either be playing as the North America. Oh, actually we can because that's currently locked. So we can only be playing as the South Asia. Our job is to capture a leader in this area. So we're gonna go and we're gonna play that. We start off with our base, which we have right here. Now our base have different stats. So we have three in bravery. Bravery you use for essentially violence or like physical threats to people. So you, because what is your goal in the game is to get uh, as many people as, as you can to join you and then use them to capture a certain leader. So like somebody important in this area that you want to have on your side. And there are three different ways you can do it. You can either do it through threats of violence and actual violence. That's what the bravery is for. You can use it through charm or seduction or befriending them, things like that. That's what we have here, that's the charm stat. And then here we have money, so we can just bribe them if we can, okay? Then on the right top, you can see my sort of exposure. So this is how people are aware of us. Like, does do people know about our group or not? At the moment, uh, it's zero. This will be in increased by the amount of connections we have. We'll talk about connections in a moment, but it gets lowered by your bravery. So essentially, if people are really, really terrified of you, they will not talk about you. They will not tell other people because they're scared that you come and kill them. So then uh, people don't know about us. Here we have our intel. Our intel we can use to learn about other people so we can learn what they are like because we you need to learn about people to know which of these tactics you should use because there are some people that for example like don't break under pressure so then violence is not going to be helpful instead you want to bribe them or seduce them and things like that. And then here you've got funds which are obviously money. So we've got three people here and we don't know nothing about them. So what we're gonna do is we're actually going to use surveillance. We're gonna use our intel to learn about this person over here. So we learned their stats. So they have three, four, and three in these different stats. So this is actually not good for us because we cannot con make them join our side because our stats are not strong enough. So we're gonna do another surveillance because we do have enough intel. And we're gonna send someone to up here. We're gonna learn about this person. So this person has only two in charm. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to try to seduce them with our charm because we are more charming than we This is going to cost us 20 bucks and it's going to take two turns. So we're going to go and we're going to seduce Tanis Ahia. I believe that's their name. You know, he just he met a girl in a bar and he just fell in love, you know, and, and as she got to know him, she... Oh, Tanya, I thought it was Tanis. Okay, so she met a guy at the bar, I guess. <laughs> or on YouTube, because she's a streamer, apparently. Okay. <laughs> so Tanya, a streamer, has just fell in love with this person who's been watching her streams and he was just complimenting her all the time. And, you know, they just, they fell in love. And now he's going to make her join us. So, at the moment... Uh, they're like a sleeping agent, so they're giving us some uh, passes, passive bonuses. Uh, they permanently give any connected ally plus two charm. So it's a, it can be really beneficial to have a just sleeping agent that doesn't do anything because they can give you some of these passive bonuses. But right now, I actually kind of want to activate her because she's really good with money. So I could use her to bribe other people. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate her. So this means that I'm going to be picking her traits that I can use. So what I'd like to use is... Oh, she has very bad stats. Okay, let me... I misclick that. Let's do that again. I need to activate you. So here I can pick two abilities that I can use to activate on her. Now, both of these, unfortunately, are not really good with her stats because you would ideally like something that allows us to use her money. So we could use fundraising to give someone else a bonus for money. You could use her charm, but that's terrible. But she could lower enemies' charm. That's pretty interesting. But I think actually we're not going to activate her just yet. We'll see. I'm not sure if these options change 
each time. I have to check it next time to find out. In the meantime, I'm gonna use a couple more of our intel to try to survey this person as well. To see if we could potentially make them join us. Four, five, five. So this person has really high stats. So right now, if you were to just do it, there's no way we can... Actually, we could use use um, money, but we can because we don't... Um, this person cannot use their abilities because they're a sleeping agent. But... Uh, we could try to sort of combine our people to get them to join us. It's something that you can do. Now we're going to end our turn here and we're going to follow up on the next turn. At the end of each turn, you get the... Intel equal to the intel of your agents, money equal to your money stats of your agents, and then this, uh, well, update. And this updates based on your number of connections. So we've got two connections, and then uh, it will get lower because our bra bra total bravery is three. Okay. So we've got this person with the money. So let me check the activation. Is it going to be the same? Unfortunately, the same. Okay, so we're gonna pick this ability to denounce, lower someone's charm by three. And then I'm gonna give her the ability of fundraising. For one turn gives a connected ally plus two in money. So she will not actually be able to do anything to our enemies per se. But she will at least be able to affect them. So this person now only has charm of three. Now charm of three is still not enough for me to actually convert them because I have to have more than they have. But uh, at least it's, you know, starting. Okay, they've got... So now we're going to use our ability here to denounce this person by additional three down. So essentially what she's doing now, she's, you know, she's a streamer, so she's telling on the internet like, hey, you know, this person is really bad, like, they did really bad things, who's this? Aditi did a lot of bad stuff, she's not a good person, you don't want to follow her, let everybody know on Twitter that Aditi is a terrible, terrible woman, or ambassador, uh, yeah, she's an ambassador. So what we're gonna do now, is we're actually going to use our charm to seduce her. Apparently that's what we like to do here. Very really. okay, good. Like you know, you would think that we would are gonna be, be killing people, things, but no, we just we just seduce people. That's it. That's what we do. So our girl here, Aditi, has joined us, and now we can activate her. Do we have any kind of good abilities? First of all, what are your stats? Four three zero. This will be changed to three three three. Uh, this uh, these stats change a bit depending on the abilities you pick for them. So for example, we could pick. We could pick a bride. This is interesting because we know that uh, Tanya can increase the amount of money that... Um, what is my girl's name? Aditi? Aditi, yeah. So Tanya can increase the amount of money that Aditi has. She can send her money essentially and then Aditi can use it to bribe people. So I think we could go with the bribe and then we could go... Regulate. This will allow us to lower someone else's bravery. Uh, three. Yeah, it's gonna lower their bravery. So let's do it. I'll activate her. And now I think I think that's probably it. Not much else we need to do. So let's just end our turn. Now this is the leaders we're trying to get. Once we get to them, we won. So our exposure is getting increased a little bit, but not too much. All right, so we can, we still have to wait one more turn before we can spy on people. So, but what we could do is we could, even if you don't know their stats, you can still try to affect them. So for example, we could try to like, we cannot do the cooldown. We could try to do a fundraising. Well, that's not really helpful for us. Well, actually it might be. We could increase her stats to five and then just straight up try to bribe this person, even though we don't know their stats. Oh, actually, we know their stats now. It's eight. So bribing is not going to work out. In that case, we might want to regulate this person. So we need to create a connection. We don't have a connection between these two people, and we need to create it in order to be able to use up our stuff. So we're going to click here on increasing a connection. This will give us an extra connection here, so more risk for exposure. But essentially the idea is that, you know, we let uh, Aditi know about the person and uh, now we can do stuff with them. The only person you don't need to connect is this, your base. 
Next, what we're gonna do here... Okay, so we learn about their bravery is four. So we're going to use this regulate thing to lower their bravery. Essentially, I, I think we, we, we've made people harass them, apparently. And now we're gonna intimidate them. Join us or you will die. As you can see on the very terrifying pictures on the screen. <laughs> okay, so we've got this guy. Oh, he's a senator? Insufficient intel. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Oh, did, did we fail that or not? I, th I, don't, I don't think we did. I think we're fine. So we're just going to click on them here. We've got Prachi Patel. Who is now... Ooh, he's stunning. He's really good with money. And yeah, he was harassed. So for one more turn, he gets bad bravery, but that's fine. He's got so much money. If we could give him an ability that would allow him to... Yes, to bribe people. Oh, he's the best. I'm going to name him after one of my patrons. So this from now on is... Um, Arcus. So Arcus here is going to help us out. Low internet loan permanently gives allies more money. Can he d do it to himself? This is passive, so everyone he's connected to will get increased money. That's really, really good. Every ally he's connected to, I should say. Now, we're going to end our term here. I've got a lot of money, a lot of intel. Our exposure is not great, so we might want to actually remove some of these connections. Like, for example, we don't need this connection here. So we can just remove it. It will cost us 5 intel, but it lowers our connection, so the increase here is going to be much lower. Now, we do know that the bravery of their leader is 8. So that's not going to be the way to go. Also, like, Prachi is pretty good charm. Yeah, I, I didn't notice that's going to change his, his money so much, the abilities that we use, but that's okay. So who are you? You've got 3, 2, 4. So I could straight up try to... Well, I can only bribe you. 4 and 4, that's not as good. But I could, I could increase the sort of money ability of my friend here, you know. Tanya the streamer have sent Arcus some money and now Arcus is going to bribe, we still got the money for it, this person. Got money. Like Illuminati is so good, we're just gonna give you money. So, so far we have seduced two people, threatened one person and sent money to one other person. So I think it's fairly okay, it's okay. All right, now, can we learn, do, yeah, we can use our surveillance now to learn more about this leader. Oh, we can, we have to, yeah, we still have to go here, okay. So instead of learning about this person, three, three, two. So we could probably fairly easily bribe them. It's going to give us a lot of connection. No, it's not connected. Okay, so, so again, we're going to have to cut some of the connections we've got, so... We can't do that this turn. That's unfortunate. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna wait for next turn and then see. Yeah, exposure's going pretty up high, that's not great. Alright, they, they increased this person charm, try to protect him. Alright, so what can we do here? First of all, we need to cut some connections. So we, I would like to connect my people in a different ways. So let's create a new connection like this. And then I think we'll cut the connection to that person from here. So we'll cut this connection. Am I clicking on the right connection? Yes. So now you can get a new connection. So I want you to connect with this person. Oh, target unit has no connection available. So then we're gonna have to cut off... Can I not cut off their connection? Hmm. That's not great. So they kind of protected themselves quite nicely. So then, okay, so then what we have to do is we have to just use our main abilities to change them. Which is not gonna be so easy. So let's use surveillance to just learn about them first. What are your stats, person? Seven, four, five. And yours. One, four, five. Okay, great. So we can use um, intimidation to get this person immediately. Come to me. 
And now we can use them to cut off some of the connections. And then, for example, connect this guy or stood up with this guy and do things like that. So we're going to grab this. We don't have enough intel. Okay, so we're just going to end our turn then. I'll let, them, let him be a sleeper agent. We don't really need to change them just yet. All right. They just like increase, no, they decreased my money. Okay. I am really good at charm though, better than this person. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna, can I activate you to socialize? Your only abilities are subduing. No, so we're, I don't think we're gonna wake you up yet. Yeah, we're, we're pretty okay with this. I wanted to cut this connection. You have seven, four, five. What do I have here? No, what, what does my person have? One, five, four. So I could use charm. You can't use charm. You can only use a bribery. Hmm. Trying to figure out the best way to utilize this. So I can remove this connection. Yes. Then I could connect you with him. And then. I could try to use my ability. So we've got five, four, five, and we've got one, four, five. So I need to increase, you can only use money. So I need to increase your money, which I could by using, no, I can't connect to this person because they don't have the stuff. Hmm. So I'm gonna have to, so I did, did the connection wrong. So I need to remove this connection. No, okay, stop it, stop it. This connection needs to be removed. I'll create a new connection from here to back to our guy, to Arcus. And then she will send, Tanya will send Arcus money. Go fundraise Arcus, please. Send him all the money that you get from your streaming. She's a really successful streamer, apparently. We're not that far with this channel, but you know, if you'd like to help, you can check out my Patreon. <laughs> All right, a 65, nice. And we've got Tanvi Ahuja, a journalist. So let's go. Very, very good. We're gonna get a lot of exposure here. We should work on like our intimidation and things like that. Can I, if I activate any of you, will you give me a lot of intimidation? No, not really. Permanently increases like charm, but that's not really. Yeah, I guess we can do it, but it doesn't particularly matter much to us. All right, we've got this new person here. You have high bravery, so you're going to help us with that. If I were to activate you, your best thing would be bribe, which is not great because you're going to be using charm. But you do have denounce and charm together, which are really strong abilities because you can use this to lower your enemy's charm and then also use their abilities to kind of ring them. So let's learn about this person. We know the leader has six in bribery, seven in charm, and eight in bravery. So we're gonna have to kind of combine ourselves to destroy them. So what can we do here? You've got ability of increasing money to every one of your friends. And you could try to bribe someone. Actually, we could, we could just use this person to bribe the leader if we use Tanya's ability. So we're gonna end our turn here. And up on the next turn, we should be able to get that leader. Hopefully. Unless they somehow increase their sort of bribe tolerance. Yeah, so let's use... Oh, we can use this ability. Come on. But we could try to denounce someone. Would that be helpful? Let me check my other stats. What can you do? You can denounce somebody and then use your charm. Your charm is four. Their charm is seven. So if I denounce you, I'll get it down to three, which is gonna be just not enough, but enough for you. Okay, so you go and denounce. Oh, it's not gonna be enough because this person can't use charm, remember that. If okay, we denounced you, could you denounce someone? You can, so you denounce them as well. I'm gonna really, really bad talk them. Like this person, you know, everybody's gonna think that this Siddharth is just really, really bad. You know, he's a stockbroker. He stole everybody's money. He stole my money. He stole my money. You know, I, I want everybody to know that. I mean, of course, I didn't put any money into his, you know, trading account, but nobody knows that. <laughs>
So we captured the leader and we have successfully won the game. 88% of our units. Uh, so it took us apparently too long, so my score got lowered. Yeah, and exposure was pretty high, so exposure is something we could have worked on, but our units are doing pretty okay. I think. Yeah. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed it. And now we could start, of course, now of course we could move into different regions and things like that. Okay. Breaking news, okay. Embargo has been declared. President blasts foreign leaders for their action. Economic downturn expected as prices are in free fall. All trade between nations stop. Northern Europe has imposed an embargo in South Asia. How dare they? They're gonna pay for that. Alright, so this is the end of the demo. I hope you enjoyed it. We did run on the comments and I'm sure we'll check back in the game once it's fully released. Alright, so click on the right to watch some other games. I'll see you there. Bye bye!